Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Adrian Aussie 2 with me, Boulder McEver. I just tried to record this episode not three minutes ago before I realized that my controller disconnected itself. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. And I was blindsided again by these silly snowbirds at the constant speed. Oh, well now I can see what this thing does. Everybody debuffed! Oh, there's no way this torpor's going off before everything. Yeah, way to miss, Sebian. Way to miss, good one. Way to miss, beauty. Everybody misses except for me and Lucajin. Yes, this will work. the bar. Yes. Yay, I leveled up. I should heal. This is a sound plan. Wait, did I level everybody up? Oh, you didn't level up. What should I get you? I think I need to get you more strength. Or do I need to get you more level? Oh, strength it is. One more point, and then you can get curse cut. I can probably retrain you. Alright, let's see. What do you need? More dampen, probably. No, you mastered it. Okay, then, uh, what, what curses? Uh, curse. As for me, strength. This will be good. Now then, let's go get that treasure that I missed. Yeah, I got about this far before my controller... It's a Heldra! I get to run away before it kills me. Yep, this is about as far as I got before my controller died. Poor player. Hey, it's a free treasure. I mean, what else are you gonna do? Dicker go. Oh, it's just a warp wire. I kinda wish I didn't go over and pick up that ch Nasty. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's try and kill that first. I don't wanna see what crazy tricks it's got. Great, now this again. Too many snowbirds. And now, what the? Kill everything. Okay. Hopefully, I never learned what that thing does. Alright, uh... Do you turn this way? I don't think you do. Good! Now to go over that ice, and into that door that I missed before. Uh, I think I can kill this thing in, like, two attacks. Yeah, there we go. This will be great! I didn't kill it. Oh, this is bad. Or not. Hey! Oh, a pale arm. Okay. For a second there, I thought that said pole arm, and I'm like, awesome, a new weapon! But wait, weapons don't just drop from enemies. Not doing that again. Hey, wait, there's a door here. I placed it in the wrong spot. 
You sense a dreadful presence. Turn back for now? No! As you open the snow and cross the door, you step into a hall lined with beautiful pillars. As you step slowly through the room, you discover a door leading deeper into the forest. Just as you reach for the door, you freeze, sensing a dreadful presence. So, you press all of this by the warnings. You recognize the sorrowful voice of the marksman known as Der Frieschutz. He stands between you and the door, directing a piercing glare at you. I told you what I told you! Don't you value your life in the slightest? But you didn't listen! And now there will be consequences! The old marksman takes aim with his guns, proving that this is no idle threat. Another voice echoes through the area, breaking the tension between you and the gunner. The war magus had skilled companions, and their progress in the labyrinth was smooth. They passed the first stratum, then the second, finally reaching these frozen grounds. Ardlin's voice is serene, as if reciting from memory. Here, she lost her life in the forest of snow, protecting her comrades, only her. Her smooth facade begins to tremble. And she stops there, trying to contain her sorrow. The old marksman takes up the story's threads over four. In the end, uh, it would be that one of many such tales. But that is not the story's end. Have you heard of the legend that the labyrinth is governed by the ruler of the heavens? He became fascinated with her soul after she died, giving her eternal life after a fashion. But what this overlord calls eternal life is to give up your hold on humanity. The overlord's gift turned her into an inhuman fiend. Even so, we can't abandon her and leave her to die here. With measured steps, Ardlin walks closer to you. If you go on ahead, you won't have a choice. You'll have to fight our transformed friend. But no matter what she... Oh, wait, this is Wilhelm speaking the whole thing, isn't it? Great. But no matter what she looks like now, no matter what she is, she's one of us. The black-haired witch's face hardens into a fiery glare as she brandishes her staff. Twelve gears. Your journey ends here. Oh, great. Who didn't see this coming? It's Ardlin and Wilhelm. Alright, let's see here. I can hit both of them if I do this. And I'm probably going to go last. Actually, you're going to go first. So... Let's see here. Artland can probably heal, so... Let's try this. And a ricochet. I won't be able to determine where the ricochet hits, because there's two enemies, but... Oh, hey, they actually have armor. Oh, hey, they actually kind of hurt. This is bad. This is real bad. Well, it seems I was not prepared. Hmm. Let's try something like, uh... Huh. Well, this is bad. Oh, she likes that ice attack skill, so let's see if this works. Nope, fire. Oh, I'm dead. Next on, let's play Train Aussie 2 with me, Voltage McEver. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll save the map data. Next time. Maybe I'll be stronger, maybe I'll have more items, maybe I'll have killed a couple FOEs. Actually, that's a pretty good idea, I might hunt FOEs to get items. Yeah! Next time I'll play Adrian Aussie 2, I'll try to do other stuff! Later, adventurers!